Hi everyone, this is Ashish Dhani. Welcome to Infosec Train. And today we are going to discuss about some interview questions on pen testing. So the very first question that you might encounter in your interview is what is the main purpose of pen testing? So the primary object of a penetration test or pen test is to conduct an extensive examination and analysis of a company's organization's IT infrastructure. The pen tester aims to gain access to any electronic based asset within the system with the ultimate goal of obtaining access to as many of the assets possible. And it is important to note that pen testers approach is not focused solely on launching an immediate forceful attack. Instead, they strategically increase the intensity and complexity of the cyber attacks over a specific time frame. So the pen testers they deep dive into the IT infrastructure and it involves a comprehensive assessment of network systems, applications and security measures in place. So this process requires a meticulous examination of vulnerabilities and weaknesses that can be exploited by malicious actors by simulating real world attack scenarios. And throughout the pen test, the objective is to replicate the tactics, techniques and procedures employed by cyber criminals. So it includes utilizing a variety of tools, methodologies and strategies to exploit vulnerabilities and gain unauthorized access. And the pen tester may employ techniques like social engineering, network scanning, vulnerability assessment, password cracking and privilege escalation to achieve their goals. So that's why we need penetration testing. Now, there can be a question related to some kinds of vulnerability as well. So there is an interview question that what is frame injection vulnerability? So a security flaw known as frame injection vulnerability, it allows the attacker to insert any frames they choose into traffic flowing through a website or application. And they do it by altering the components of HTTP request header or by adding frames to the response the server provides to the browser to build document content and show it on the web page if it were a component of the original document small frames of html and xml are utilized and they insert it in the responses so that is frame injection vulnerability and it can lead to uh, the attacker to steal the data of users as well then there may be another question related to CVS common vulnerability scoring system. So what is common vulnerability scoring system? So it is a framework which is designed to access and classify the attributes and criticality of software vulnerabilities. So it is crucial in providing a consistent and objective way to evaluate the severity of potential security flaws in the products. And it is structured into three distinct metric groups, base, temporal and environmental and every group it offers valuable insights into different aspects like base metrics are the fundamental attributes which form the foundation of CVSS score so it includes qualities such as vulnerabilities access complexity level of authentication required and impact on uh, the confidentiality integrity availability and other factors so based on these attributes the base metrics generate a score uh, out of 10 right then there are temporal metrics so temporal metrics modify the base score by taking into account the vulnerabilities evolving characteristics so these metrics consider elements such as vulnerability exploitability over time the existence of uh, mitigations and workarounds availability of patches and by incorporating these dynamic as aspects the temporal metrics they offer more realistic and up-to-date representation of the vulnerabilities risk. And the third one is environmental metrics. So environmental metrics further refine the CVSS score by considering the unique factors and con context of the specific environment in which the vulnerable software operates. And this includes factors like impacted system sensitivity, and the value of data at risk and potential impact on business operations and the environmental metrics enable the organization to tailor the CVSS score to their specific risk landscape and by combining these three metric groups the CVSS provides a comprehensive and nuanced 
assessment of uh, software vulnerabilities and severity and potential consequences and it standardized the scoring system is widely adopted across the cybersecurity industry allowing the security practitioners developers and organization to communicate and prioritize vulnerabilities consistently so these were some of the questions that you might encounter in your interview thank you